start broadcast. Okay, everybody, it's Joe from Eat More Chocolate, and I'm back at the Winter Fancy Food Show. And Drina Bigelow is with me from Franz Chocolates in Seattle. Let me show you this stuff down here. For those that don't know it, Franz is an original. And there is a person named Fran who is a wonderful lady. She is the queen of salted caramel chocolates. Matter of fact, if you've had a salted caramel chocolate in the United States or really anywhere in the world, it was all inspired by Fran. She is the original. Fran's daughter run, helps run the business, is the CEO of the business, and is um, here with me today. How did it start? I mean, how'd your mom really get into salted caramel and the whole thing? Absolutely, yeah. So um, Fran started the business in 1982. Uh, she was inspired by a trip to France where she, um, and this was in the late 60s actually, where she experienced chocolate um, for the first time that really had that tremendous complex flavor. Um, so she came back to Seattle and a few years later opened her first patisserie and chocolate, uh, France patisserie and chocolate specialties, which was a really um, wonderful uh, shop in, in Seattle where she was creating desserts and cakes. Um, and then she created a few chocolate truffles and the customers kept coming back wanting more of the chocolate truffles. Of course. Um, so then those those took off and really became very, very popular. And more of, a, and more of our business kind of went into the, the truffles um, and the chocolates. Um, and then, you know, in the, in the 90s, uh, her business had grown and she uh, was working with uh, Chef Michael Chiarello um, oh, on a special that. for Netflix. Oh, Michael's style. great, yeah. Absolutely, and so he was, had her down and he was filming an episode of a TV show and he, um, he introduced her to the gray sea salt. And he was importing it from France, from the Brittany coast. And he asked Fran, he said, Fran, I know you can do something with this salt. So this was 1999. And she thought about it. She's like, I just am not sure. And then when she got back home, she realized she could take her uh, soft butter caramel that she had. It was dipped in, in chocolate. Um, and then just add a little bit of salt to the top. And that really um, was the perfect way to maintain the texture of the salt, not have it be overly salty, um, and then uh, tame down the sweetness of the caramel a little bit and highlight and, the flavor of the chocolate. And really, the rest is history. I mean, Absolutely. Every chocolate manufacturer in the world now does a chocolate salted caramel candy of some Absolutely. sort. Absolutely, in lots of different categories, you know, ice cream and cupcakes, and um, it's really a standard flavor in pretty much every, you know, every dessert company's profile now. Did, does she, I mean, did she, obviously she didn't know what she did it, that she was ex making that whole in, uh, industry out of something. Absolutely when did, when did it? When did y'all realize that it really caught on? Because it, it had to be a couple of years later, but it was all uh, over the place. Right, it took about five years. So the first year when she launched it, um, people would try, they would try it in our retail store. She'd give it away for free and people thought it was a terrible idea. They thought she had made a mistake. You know, she was supposed to put sugar on top, not salt. Right. Um, so that, it took a long, uh, you know, it took about five years. Um, and then she had some really wonderful, um, you know, Oprah Winfrey picked up on it really early on. The New York Times um, picked up on it. So it just took a few key influencers to bring it to the forefront. Um, and then it really has taken off since then. And, and the awards are behind me. I mean, her, it's, this is well awarded. And then last year, the best classic, uh, chocolate she got an, an award again for you Absolutely. guys did that as well Absolutely. tell me about the new place because I know that um, people have been clamoring into the stores but now you've got a new manufacturing place Absolutely. so we're really excited we have been in business for 33 years we're a family business we had been in our um, last location for 22 years and we've really outgrown it um, so this last about a year a little over a year ago we moved into a historic building in Seattle um, in Seattle's Georgetown neighborhood and we're able to renovate that so we have a tasting room and retail shop oh, wow. and then have a brand new um, production facility. Yeah. There's a viewing window into production so we can show customers what we're doing. Um, and then we now we have the ability to really um, meet demand. You know, for the last five or six years, we just haven't been able to meet demand. And you still have the four stores? We do, yes. Okay, and then you can also purchase your stuff online? Absolutely. So if you don't have a, a store in the country that sells brands nearby that you can run by and get it, you'll ship it to them and, uh, through, through online sales? Absolutely. And it's available in stores as well. So I know you have your own. Where else? What other places sell Fran's yeah. chocolates? Um, we're, you'll find us in Whole Foods in a lot of parts of the country. Um, you know, on the on the West Coast, you'll find us in oh, Sur La Table across the you know across the country. Sure. Um, Andronico's and Gelson's, Dean and DeLuca. Um, you know, quite a few of the kind of specialty food stores. You know, the smaller specialty food stores. And right it's here. a full line of chocolate. We talk about this, 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 the caramel sea salt. But, Absolutely, but you'll it's... find the sea salt caramel in most in most of those stores, um, and that's definitely what we're known for in our bestsellers. Sure. So you'll find that but you also have 
these amazing sauces, which I love as well. I mean, they're coming caramel, but they also have all the other flavors. Dark chocolate sauce is great. Doing, you're doing a mint. Mark's doing a mint over here. <laughs> it's uh, equally strong and great. So, all right, well, great. Thank, um, you. thank you so much. And if you haven't been to Seattle, this is on the absolute must tour of Seattle. You have to go to Fran's. It is an absolute institution, and you'll be doing yourself a disservice if you make it to Seattle and don't go to Fran's. And they have several locations. You got to go by the new, new shop, and uh, you can actually watch them make it at the new shop. And remember, this is it. If you have salted caramel, uh, chocolate, anywhere, any restaurant, any store, anybody that's eating this, this is the original right here. It's uh, it's from Franz Chocolates out of Seattle. And uh, I've known these people for a long time. Not only is it great chocolate, they're good people too. So definitely buy from them. And uh, this has been Joe from the Winter Fancy Food Show in San Francisco. I'll be back in a little while with somebody else. Bye.